Hello Libra. Thank you for tuning in to your singles love reading. Now this is going to be for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. You can also check your North Node and your Jupiter. And keep in mind, this won't resonate with all Libras, okay? Y'all know that. I know that, okay? So take what resonates and leave the rest, okay? All right. Ooh, we already on it. So, Eight of Wands. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, Libra, all right. I really like it. I love when the cards just pop straight out, straight away. Because sometimes it takes a minute for the energy to build up. Like, Gemini's reading was giving me books of cards at a time. So, let's see. And I think Gemini had Eight of, eight of Wands, too. So, we're going to see what... uh. What y'all talking about? All right. Thank you, Spirit. Okay, so we got the Ten of Wands. I think Libra's going to be giving me books of cards, too. Ooh, we got the Ten of Wands. Mm, we got the Eight of Wands and the Ten of Wands. So you might be dealing with a fire sign. We got the Nine of Pentacles. Mm, okay. We got the King of Wands. Okay, yeah. Some of y'all definitely dealing with a fire sign. We got the Six of Pentacles. Ooh. And we got the Two of Swords. Okay, yeah, a lot of these cards uh, Gemini had as well. Oh, man, listen, Gemini had this too. They had the kings too, so I'm wondering if the energy is the same. If you guys have a choice. But we're going to see, okay? We're going to see. Because a lot of these cards came out, and I shuffle, 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 meditate, shuffle, shuffle between readings so, um, there's no confusion and there's no overlapping of energies here. So, and I'm shuffling right now in front of you. So, we got the Hierophant. Mm, okay. Somebody might want to marry Libra. We got two kings here, though. So, we got two kings here and a two of swords. So, uh, Marella, um, Libra. <laughs> Y'all got a choice? Y'all got a choice? See, we, Gemini had this too. Some of y'all are definitely dealing with a Gemini. Definitely. Okay. So, we got the three of wands. So, someone, yeah, y'all yeah, definitely dealing with a fire sign or a Gemini. For sure. Taurus. Okay. Um, the six of pentacles is, is equal give and take. So, Someone definitely wants to have that with you. With this Nine of Pentacles here, though, that is that is what's kind of got me thinking. Do you guys just want to be just single? I don't know, because Libras, y'all like partnerships. So, this Nine of Pentacles here, somebody might see you like that. Somebody might see you as the Nine of Pentacles energy. But y'all got, yeah, definitely got two Kangs. See, Jim and I had the same exact thing. Okay, so we got the Seven of Pentacles here. Y'all might be dealing with an Earth sign because we got a lot of Earth here as well. The Seven of Pentacles here. So, hmm. I'm wondering if some someone is working towards marriage with you or you're working towards marriage with someone else. Obviously, if you're single, you're, uh, some of you want to get married. Are y'all putting in the work to get married? Or you may have put in the work in the past with uh, someone else, with someone to, to get married. And maybe you felt like it was a burden. That person was a burden, so you had to let them go. And get on, get on your nine of pentacles. And be single and fine and all that. Prosperous and all that. And so, when you're single, you're, you're kind of building up options in many in many cases, not always. But I feel like you guys have more than one option for suitors. Y'all have more than one option, definitely. Um, and there's a decision that's going to need to be made regarding this. Because y'all want marriage. This is very similar to the Gemini reading. Y'all want marriage. And y'all have more than one option. So you're going to have to decide. 
who who it's gonna be. See what I'm saying when y'all when I said y'all want marriage? Two of Cups. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Y'all want that. Y'all want that that you know that solid foundation. You got the wheel of fortune. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm loving it. I'm liking the energy that I'm seeing. You got the seven of cups. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, you guys are definitely having some wishful thinking. Or one of these options have some wishful thinking about you. Yeah. I'm feeling like your options see you as the nine of pentacles, though. So, Libra, are you being clear on... So you got the nine of swords here. So you know that you're going to have to hurt someone's feelings. Someone's going to get hurt when you choose because you, you want a, a solid connection. And also Libra, um, are you making your options think? Because this is the energy that I'm getting with this nine of pentacles here. Because they, they see you as, as a bad B. Okay. So, um, are you are you making your options believe that you want to be single, even though you don't? Or maybe sending mixed signals here. But with this eight of wands here, you either have somebody coming in or you have or you have that offer, that commitment, that offer of commitment coming in quickly. Once they realize that you want, this is what you want, yeah, you're you're gonna be on your merry little way to what you want. But the thing is, what I say, what I tell you, you're going to be on your way towards what you want. The six of wands. This is moving forward. Moving to calmer waters. Moving to harmony. Yeah. <laughs> See what I'm saying? Yeah. I love when spirit does that. It's just, it's just so lovely and so beautiful. <laughs> so, yeah, you guys, you want, you guys want marriage. <sighs> See what I'm saying? The chariot. Soon as soon as you make clear what you want, soon as you make it clear what you want, you're gonna get it. But the issue here is um, choosing who it's gonna be. You gotta choose. You're gonna have to pick. So this is so similar. To Gemini's reading. Crazy, 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 crazy. Y'all have three kings, this, the, literally the same exact kings that Gemini had in their reading. You got the king of wands, the king of swords, and the king of cups. Telling y'all, y'all have, uh, have a decision to make. And so it's going to be some people that are going to be hurt because they want love with you too. They want love with you. But you know you can only choose one, okay? Because you know the law and all that, you know. <laughs> Y'all got the king of pentacles. Listen. <laughs> yeah. Y'all got a lot of people that is, that's, that's checking for you, Libra. They are checking for you. <laughs> a lot of people want to offer you the two of cups that you want. The hierophant is, is, uh is uh this could be a spiritual connection but it can also be um people that are thinking about marriage with you so your options if you don't have these options yet libra you will and like i said take it how it resonates okay take it as how it resonates but i feel like you're gonna have crazy offers for what you want as soon as you make it clear what you want and you don't even have to make it clear with the men or the women you need to make it clear with yourself so you can manifest it because i see you guys have a lot of options okay so listen i ignored this night of this night of wands just flipped over and i ignored it because it's the bottom of the deck and i was like nah i don't really know if this is gonna go with this and then it flips over so yeah spirit say yeah so y'all have somebody <laughs> Oh my God, y'all, I cannot make this up. Y'all got the Knight of Wands. So somebody definitely wants to come in and offer you uh, some passion, some love. And y'all have the Ten of Cups with it. I can't make this up, y'all. Crazy. 
So with these sixes here, I feel like it could be someone from your past too. That's coming in. One of these kings might be someone from your past. Yep. Mm hmm Now, I'm wondering if you're going to end up hurting this person from your past. Because I think they're going to come in and be wanting to be your knight in charming, shining armor. And you're going to be like, look, I got, I got you and I got three other kings that... <laughs> that they want me so at this point you know yeah but i feel like you guys some of you guys might be burdened by this decision that you have to make yeah you might you might feel burdened by you might be burdened by the decision you have to make or you might be burdened with having all these options and you only want one two but the Wheel of Fortune can also be um, a second chance at, at something from your past as well. So it might be someone coming back, coming back for you. And they have wishful thinking that it's going to work out with you guys. But yeah, definitely someone, they, they might be, they might have anxiety too with coming in. They might have anxiety with coming in with, with this offer. They want to come in, though. They got the Knight of Wands and this Eight of Wands. People want to come in. There's somebody want to come in, but I feel like somebody's just really nervous of doing it. They might be up all night thinking about you. But you, you, you have too many kings here to not have multiple options, Libra. Like, it's just, if you, if you don't have multiple options, we got codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. Now, this can go several ways, okay? And I always try to be broad because it's so so many different scenarios that it could be. So, the first scenario, um, it could be the person that you were dealing with once, once before had addictions that caused y'all to kind of fall out. The next, um, <clears throat> the next thing is, for me, codependency isn't always a bad thing. When I see codependency in a spread like this, if it feels like you just want someone that you can depend on because I'm seeing that you want you want marriage with someone eventually and codependency isn't always a bad thing okay if it's if it's healthy but you know isn't that the point of having something like the two of cups is you can depend on each other so that's kind of you guys that's what you're looking for right so um yeah so New love, a, a new person has stirred your romantic feelings. Mm -hmm. New love. Y'all got, got a few new loves here, but uh, <laughs> I wasn't going to say nothing. But, <laughs> but you know, y'all, like, y'all know, y'all know what to do, Libra. Make, make the best choice. But I, I honestly feel like you guys are, a lot of you guys are going to pick the person that um is from your past because you have already put in some work with this person the person from your past you already put in some work this is this is seeing the result from past efforts so y'all probably went through some things from um from someone from with someone from your past and now they want to try to come back and you know of course you know be wise with that usually Libras are very wise in their in their decisions but you know always use caution with that don't just do something just because um you know I, of course i don't condone people being in relationships that are abusive and all that good stuff right but you know do what you want to do do what works for you i ain't here to tell you what to do but i see you guys have a lot of options and you know that you're gonna you're gonna hurt someone or you're gonna hurt more than one person once you decide who you want to be with but it's just that it's just that deciding Libra is is that making a decision. That's that's where y'all get messed up at. <laughs> and I understand because I'm a Libra rising. So I understand. I get it. Because sometimes it's hard. Especially since you I think you like you see potential in all of the options. You see potential in all of them. So 
We got retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. Yeah, I feel like you guys definitely need to kind of go within and see where your heart is. Find out where your heart is. And like I said, be clear in your intention in your intentions when you're manifesting so you can um you can manifest what you want. What well, you can manifest the the type of relationship that you want cuz I see you want commitment. You want that. And you got let your friends help you. Ask for help and accept support from others. Yeah, yeah, I mean y'all can have friends help you, but I mean they're they're not going to be able to decide what you want is your life, right? It's your life. So we got finances and career here. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. So I'm wondering if, was it a money issue from this person from your past? Was it a money issue that broke y'all off? They had y'all fall off from each other? So now they're coming back around as the king of pentacles because they got their money right. Because I got my cash, right? Hey, hey. Right? And then it's worth waiting for. So, maybe with this Seven of Pentacles here, from you putting in that work, putting in that work, and wait, worth waiting for, divine timing, was it worth waiting for with this person? That's for you to decide, Libra. That's for you to decide. Okay? So, as always, I always appreciate y'all watching. So, hit that like, hit that sub. Let me know in the comments what's going on, you know. And um, until next time, guys, peace out.